Well, I've done the same amount of work on uh, the uh, on the buttstock as I had uh, done on the forearm that I was showing you before. What I've done is I've cut out all the vines uh, and then uh, shaved off the press checkering in this area. And now I'm ready to uh, start the uh, stippling. And after that, start working on the leaves. I've got this is the front part on uh, one side. This is the completed part on the other side. I've, I've got, you can see that we have all sorts of uh, vines coming out of here. Just come out and they kind of flow through. And I mentioned that uh, it has a gothic cross at the end. And uh, that's going to be some finalized uh, uh, detail work after I've got all these uh, areas done as far as the uh, uh, stippling and uh, the leaves. Then I'll start working on the cross. But right now I'm going to start working on stippling. So again, I'm going to use a very tiny um, a number three carbide bit to do the stippling. very random area here when I when they do the stippling you got to make sure it's random don't do lines or anything kind of go in little circles and Z's and whatever works to make sure that you don't look like it's uh, a bunch of straight straight taps just doing on it should be a background that doesn't sh catch your eye really a bunch of lines would catch your eye And this can be very monotonous uh, work. You just tap. Uh, if it starts, you start getting tired. <laughs> if you're doing a big area like this, take some breaks. Take a 10 minute break, take a 15 minute break, come back. If you're not in a time, uh, time crunch here to get this done. You just gotta do it slowly and surely and get it complete. jump around to different areas just to I'll come up here so you can see it a little bit better to see what I'm doing. Turn down with the stippling of course we're going to work on the leaves again and then when that's all done I'm going to go through and do a little detail work here and there. Maybe it's more stippling where I might have touched it when doing the leaves maybe a little more shaving on the vines, but after that, once again, we're going to be going it over with that scotch bright pad. touch if you tap 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 very quickly like this you're not going to go very deep if you touch a little slower you're going to go a little deeper and you're going to take off more wood depends on if you got a little high point and you want to level it out just let your uh, let your bit sit just a instant longer and it's going to take out a little bit more wood
see the depth that this, uh, this starts to create. That's the whole idea behind this. And I will uh, show you when I'm a little farther along here again.